What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so today I'm back with episode 11 of my Game Maker Studios tutorials. This time I decided, or well last time as we did, we added GUI better looking stuff, so now there's like a health bar, ammo looks nicer, tells you kind of like the gun, shows it all that, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So this time I decided, it's been a while since we worked on the enemy, and I decided why don't we work on the little enemy characters a little more, make them a little more unique, custom and all that. So what I think I want to do is try to make it so it's like each enemy is a little bit different maybe or kind of more custom to itself. And um, so it's like, for instance, having each enemy maybe has a can have a different health in a little bit of a range. It can have a different damage possibly in a range. I don't know about that one for sure. but And then what else? Who knows? All that. Maybe even a different speed in a range. So they're all kind of some move faster, some are slower, some are stronger, some are weaker, all that. And then possibly making it so there's a chance that it can drop an item, whether that be a health kit, a uh, ammo pack thing, a weapon, all that. So we'll try to make it maybe a little more randomized. And yeah, so we probably don't need any sprites or anything. Uh, let's see. We'll start it off. So we'll go into the enemy. Okay, um, so speed, health. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use random variables. So we're going to do randomize for the first thing. Now we're going to do random, or actually we'll do spd equals random. Or actually I think we can do, is it floor random. Okay, so it's basically zero counts as a number. So like there is it'll randomize so we want it to be so like I don't know let's think it'll add okay okay so basically we want to do I'm um, trying to think here so if 3 is a speed we'll do somewhere between 2 or actually there's gonna be how many numbers I'm trying to think here because we don't want hmm we want there to be at least either so it's like okay it's kind of randomizing choosing a number so we're, we're, we're gonna have to add a variable to it no matter what to get it to the speed minimum we want but we're gonna have the options can be two three or four maybe so let's think so we'll need three or technically two zero one two and then we're gonna add let's see okay so if we could get zero as a number we want it to be the minimum is two, so plus two. So whether it's zero, it'll be two, one, it'll be three, two, it'll be four. Okay, that works. And then we're going to do another one, so randomize, except this will be HLTH equals floor. Oh, wait, we never closed this. Like that. There we go. Okay, floor random. Now this one will have a little bit more of a range. We'll have the minimum is 8. The maximum is like 15 maybe. Okay, so that's... Ooh, what's, what's that? Actually, maximum will be 14. Okay, so 4 plus... That's 6. We want 6 very... Or 5. Okay, 5. Plus... So then the minimum is going to be 8 right yeah that's what I said so if zero can be a number plus eight yeah okay so that works and then we can get rid of these two and then we'll also do one last one for damage randomize see I don't know though the hard part is with this it'll take obj enemy damage I don't think we should I don't want to really mess with the randomizing is damage because I don't know which one it'll take it from. So for now, we'll just leave damage how it is. So now the health and the speed is random. So some are stronger, some are weaker, some are faster, some are slower. So we can actually try that out now and see how the difference is. I believe that'll actually... Yeah, it should work fine. So let's try it out and see what it does. If it loads. There we go. Okay. So as you can tell, some look like they're a little bit faster than others. And then, so let's see, so, wait, actually, okay, we'll take out the fast one. Hold up, I gotta get rid of all my bullets. 
We'll take out the faster one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh my. Yeah, okay, hold up. Let's restart this. Let's do this a little bit smarter. I want to be able to take it out and see if I can count how many shots it takes. Just to test if it actually is doing something. Okay, so here we go. Render it. I don't know why it's taking a while. Could be something in my background doing something. Who knows? Oh, jeez. I don't want to actually die, though. Okay, so we'll take out this one. So let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this one took nine. Okay. No, I don't want... Okay, so that one took nine. We'll let this one come over now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that one took, must have took nine, too. Whatever. Okay, so we'll get the slower one here in a second. That works. Okay, so... Oh, I need to reload. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10. Oh, shoot. I don't have ammo. Dang it. So we're at 10, 11, 12. Okay, so yeah, so I guess it is random. Depends, and obviously some are faster than others. I think there's like a couple here, though, that must all be at the same speed. Who knows? Okay, so that works fine. And then. Now we want it so that whenever they die, they drop something at a random chance, though. So if health is less than zero... Okay, so now here's where we'll do this. We'll do the... Okay, so... We'll do a... Actually, yeah, we need to create a random variable in the creation. So randomize... So, this, so we're just doing a lot of randomizing right now. For So I guess that's kind of a new thing to learn here for you guys. So randomize, so now it does, we need to do drop, we'll just call it drop, equals floor, okay, if I can spell floor, random, okay, so now the chances, we're going to have 100, uh, maybe, no, wait, okay, let's think, so if we have it, we want it to be like a 50% chance that you actually get something, and there's five items, so we'll do a 10% chance you could get either item. Or, better yet, let's do like maybe a 5% chance you can get a weapon, and a 10% chance you can get a gun. So that's 5, 10, 15, plus 20. So that's 25%. So we could just easily make it 100 and then go off of that. Plus 1, so now it's no matter what, it's 100. So it's zero, 1 to 100. Or... Yeah, yeah, 1 to 100. That's fine. Okay, so now we go into here and we do if drop is equal to, or well, actually, if drop is greater than or equal to 1 and drop is less than or equal to... So this we'll do, we'll do first, we'll do the ammo. So this has to have a 10% chance. So if it's greater than or equal to 1, or less than or equal to 10. So we have a 1 it, so that's 10. We have a 10. Yeah, 10% chance. Okay, so that works. And what we're going to do then is we're going to have it do instance underscore create x, y, obj underscore ammo okay so there we go and then we'll do the same thing except we'll do an else if actually we can just make five of them for now doesn't really matter we're gonna need them all anyways there we go okay so now we have all that and then the last thing it'll just do is destroy the object or actually no we only yeah no five five that's right okay so the next one is going to be if it is, so we'll skip some numbers just to make it so it's a little more diverse. Um, if it is 20, greater than or equal to 20, less than or equal to 30. Is that 10? Would that technically, no, you'd have to do 21. 
Yeah, okay. 21 and then 30. Okay, so there's that. Now these ones are going to be 5% chances. So this one we can do, technically we could do 20. Yeah, okay, so these ones we can do, we'll do 41, or actually 51, and then we'll do 55. This one will be 71. 75, 91, and 95. Okay, so that should work fine. So now there's 10% chance for this one, 10% for this. Oh, wait, we need to change these. Med kit. So yeah, so you have 5% chance of getting a gun and 10% of getting like ammo or a med kit, which we can almost raise that if we ever wanted to. And you can make that whatever you want. It's up to you. Pistol. You know, I probably could have done it a lot easier just by doing um, a 1 in 10. Because I think I could just do technically... Um, yeah, I don't know. That's it's hard to say. Okay, so that's pistol. Shotgun. Assault rifle. Okay, so that should work fine. Let's actually try running it just to be on the safe side here. Make sure that it actually is working. Okay, here we go. And this will kind of upgrade our little guys and then make them a little bit more diverse. Okay, so that one dropped a med kit. Because that's one of the higher chances to get. You know, I'm going to go get a shotgun, actually. It'll work a lot easier to kill him off. Okay, so... Nothing. A med kit. Nothing. See, look at that. I can get my health way up now. 50, 60, 70... 80, 90, there we go. Maybe this one will drop one. Ooh, that one dropped an assault rifle. So yeah, so that was a really low chance, but it happened. And then you have the assault rifle now. Okay, so yeah, so that works good. That's probably where we're going to leave this one at then, because that's all there is to it. Another thing I do want to get around to, I just haven't really found the way that I plan to do it yet, is better enemy movement. So, like, if it notices a wall, it'll kind of move around it or whatever, and it'll try to, like, avoid it, something like that. Go around and try to find the player, who knows, like, something around the, like that. But, yeah, so, if you guys like this video, though, make sure to hit that like button. Any issues you've came into, comment it, and I'll try my best to help you with that. This one wasn't really too complicated. It was just, just make sure you have, like, the randomizing and all that. That's kind of important, doing it right. And then, yeah, so if you guys aren't subscribed to us yet, you guys should. But thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.